Hey guys, how are you doing? So on this episode of MS Export, I wanted to show you Zaxxon, the part of Zaxxon on the MSX. Zaxxon was a Sega game made in 1981, and it was the uh, first game to use the um, what's called now uh, the isometric projection but at the time it was called the axonometric projection and this is what the uh, axon here stands for it stands for axonometric and I would speculate but that's only speculation that the Z here stands for the Z axis that was now visible on screen again I'm only speculating but I love this format especially this came in a tape um, in a tape that was in this huge massive box but this is really cool because this box, this box was made by Philips. Philips released a few of these uh, when they started launching the MSX and what this is is essentially the video pack uh, box. If I take a video pack uh, game here uh, this is a, 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 a Munchkins um, and uh, uh, this is essentially a clone of Pac-Man, but this is exactly the same type of box. Uh, this one is a bit broken, so I'm going to be careful, but um, you can see here it opens the same way. And instead of having tape, you have the, uh, the um, uh, video packs, or uh, the Odyssey 2, uh, as it's known in the US, um, uh, cartridge. Uh, really cool, really cool boxes. So it's actually, um, I don't know, I love it, I love the, the format. There's a few of these tapes released um, for uh, for the MSX, uh, I'll do more reviews uh, on these, but I love this format. Uh, not only because it's Philips, but it has the Philips and the Sega logo. Uh, and it was not in, in, uh, in partnership with Sega, which is pretty cool and pretty unique. So let's have a look uh, at the game Zaxxon for the MSX. One of the interesting things about Zaxxon is that there's actually a couple of versions of the game. Now this is the one I showed you earlier, the tape version, and this was released for Europe. Now this is pretty much a straight port of the ColecoVision version. The other one was released on cartridge for the Japanese market and is a port of the Sega SG-1000 version. Uh, and they're actually very, very different games. Uh, they look and play somewhat different. Now, in this version, there is no music, just the uh, ambient sounds, and uh, the, the control is uh, slightly different. Essentially, you press down to go up, and you press up to go down. It's like, uh, um, yeah, it's it's somewhat inverted, and it's I, I still find it confusing to this day. There you go. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of that. That was me as a kid. Um, I kept bumping into everything and getting confused and getting my fingers mixed up. I just, uh, I just couldn't figure out. And again, man, this is confusing. It's been, it's been a while. Now, this is also a, a version by Electric Software, and I never got a chance to check this one out. Uh, so I don't know. I, I would assume this is the same as this one. Um, uh, why it was, it showed up as made or published by electric software i don't know i'll have to i'll have to uh, f dig this one up uh, maybe try and find it on ebay and uh, and get my hands on it and play it but i think these were the only two versions so i'm just going to play this one for a while and then i'll show you the other version um i don't have the box for the other one but i have it on cartridge which is uh, which is pretty cool but this is why it's so cool to collect for uh, a computer well computers in general but for the msx in particular but it, it, there were so many stories like that are just different versions different ports and uh different formats and uh, different boxes for everything yeah it's, it's really really cool you're never quite fully done collecting for the msx because so many variants of everything that it's uh, it's almost impossible so the the goal essentially is to reach the end of le the level and you uh, you, f you face zaxxon the uh, robot or something like that i don't know um and you got a fuel meter as well, and destroying enemies on the ground and in the air later on um, uh, refills your fuel. So this is the end of the, uh, well, first, whatever, stage or level or something like that. Um, I, I used to die here all the time, because they shoot at you and it's really hard. It's actually really hard to um, to destroy them, because you, you, have, you have no real indicator of... of where they are because they, they shift uh, the shift level like the higher or lower and I don't know I don't know there you go yeah it's almost uh, impossible without a shadow um, for these planes it's almost impossible to exactly know where they are so that was a quick one game over I'm gonna am I gonna keep playing or will I show you the other one I'm gonna have another 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 go at this one 
But yeah, man, I, I love the idea that there's two versions of this, and <laughs> it's, it's not entirely surprising because most of these uh, uh, platforms at the time were Z80 um, based, and uh, and and they share the same VDP, the same uh, uh, display processor, video display processor. And the sound chimp were were not too dissimilar. Um, yeah, they, they could be programmed pretty much the same way, just the. Uh, the, the end result uh, would be a uh, slightly different. Uh, I think the MSX had the uh, better better chip compared to the Coleco, but no, it's not hard to do. But essentially, the MSX one is very much a, 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 a Coleco, a more powerful Coleco vision, uh, branded differently. But the architecture is not dissimilar. Uh, I often hear the comparison with the Master System and the NES. And it's uh, it's very unfair to do that to the MSX because they're they're very different machine. And the MSX2 would probably get closer to a, a master system, uh, certainly not an NES, and uh, it's I don't think it's as powerful either as a master system. But there were home computers, they were designed for doing more things than just playing uh, video games. Uh, and I did just that with those. Jeez, I'm not doing too bad here. I mean, I, I learned so much on the MSX. I learned assembly. I learned how to draw there was like a a paint uh, a paint um software provided by philips when i got mine uh, i learned basics of music and the uh, abc notation and all this kind of stuff i learned all that on the msx um which uh, was the thing none of my friends who had consoles could do you know they could just only play but uh, suddenly I, I had something that made me so uh, so creative this is awesome. Okay, I'm doing okay here. Oh god, I thought I was dead here. And here's <laughs> I'm chance oh there you go. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing in this level. With the, the planes coming, I don't know if you have to destroy them or just I can get away with avoiding them. I mean the, the game isn't too hard, it's just gonna take a couple of goes to figure out um, what's going on and and um, where to go, but um, I think the score is really, uh, really where it's at because it's an arcade game at the end of the day. Uh, scoring was uh, was everything. Um, it wasn't necessarily the uh, how long the game was, but how many times you could uh, you could clear it. So we've new enemies here. These guys, come on! I got confused in the keys again. And here we should have the big fella, Zaxxon. So there's actually one way to destroy. I think you have to shoot his right side and then do and then not that. Never mind. All right. Okay, I should be talking more. As uh, yeah, couldn't destroy him again. Anyway, uh, that's Zaxxon, that's the uh, the tape version. I'm going to stop playing for a while. Essentially, we get a pretty much a, a harder version of the same uh, same level. I love the fact that it's a uh, high-tech, high-tech planet, society, or whatever it is, but they still, still have to use brick walls. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. Still use bricks in the future. Anyway, let's uh, stop this and uh, launch the other game. This is the tape, uh, sorry, the cartridge version, uh, the uh, Sega SG-1000 uh, port. And, uh, it, yeah, it looks very different. It, it plays a bit different. First, we got a really cool intro and a big logo. Oh, yeah. I like it very much. It's like the electric uh, software, actually, logo is coming up. And here, it's so colorful. And um, we've got music. Listen to that. Like that. Um, you notice the uh, high and low have uh, numbers as well, which uh, sort of make it handy to go over certain areas because you can actually count the, uh, the all the bricks. Um, there are bigger bricks here, <laughs> and they're yellow. But you can count all the bricks and uh, and uh, 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 and know exactly where you should be standing. But look at these colors, so cool. And we have a, a bit of a. Artifact on this sprite. Now, like I said, this was at least in the arcade. This was uh, the, the first game to use the uh, 
uh, axonometric uh, projection, the uh, isometric uh, projection. And uh, I mean, the MSX wasn't renowned exactly for its uh, scrolling capabilities because, well, it had none. It, it, it couldn't scroll, so you had to shift every sprite um, by 8 or 16 bits. Uh, at least, uh, or yeah, I think it was a, a multiple of uh, 8 bits uh, at a time. And how they managed to put off a, a diagonal scrolling, I don't know, but it, it works really well. Um, considering. But man, this is actually much more playable. Um, up is actually up, down is down, there's no mess in here. Um, the ship is a bit faster to control, and it just look it looks much oh, that's so much for precision. Uh, but it looks much better, and the music is definitely a plus. Although I do miss the uh, the uh, ship sound, the sh sh doing those kind of sounds. But um, and the music isn't bad actually. I can't remember if the original game, uh, 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 the arcade game, had music. Uh, I can't remember here. Yeah. I love those uh, shooting sounds as well. Okay, what's going on here? Oh! Cutscene! And we're... We, we, oh, wow! What was that sound? <laughs> Okay, F. Oh, that's my fuel. I'm low on fuel. I need to kill enemies. Okay. Wow, fuel was not a problem in the other um, in the other version, but here it goes much, much faster. Uh, it's on the top left as well, that pink bar. Wow. Okay, I do not like these sounds. <laughs> the emergency sound and the uh, fuel sounds. Pretty aggressive. But it's a small price, it's actually a much, much better version, I think. Um, I play, it's the other one I played, so I've, uh, I've probably more nostalgia for that one, but uh, I would have played it a lot more um, if I had this version. Okay, I need to shoot something. There you go. The play field, um, sorry, Facebook again. The play field uh, <laughs> feels much, much bigger. I should really switch off Facebook when I'm doing these. Oh, whatever here. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. Which one did I hit? This is for, oh, yeah. Did I go too high? I think I did. Game over. Um. Yeah, really cool. So. There you go. Will I keep playing for a while? Probably not. Anyway, this is Zaxxon uh, for the MSX. Um, really cool to have two versions of one game on the same platform and potentially a third one. I don't know. I, I would suspect the Electric Software one is the uh, the same as the, uh, the Philips one. <coughs> Just uh, licensed differently. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.